the oxidation of alcohols with H2CrO4. So H2CrO4 is chromic acid and it has this structure. It looks a lot like sulfuric acid just with a chromium in the center instead of the sulfur for sulfuric acid. Um, and this reagent is also referred to as Jones reagent. So if you see Jones oxidation, you're talking about an oxidation with chromic acid. And so this is a really strong acid and this is generally formed in situ. So that means that you don't have a bottle of chromic acid sitting on the shelf, but you have some ingredients that you can mix together to form chromic acid. So you will often see it formed by mixing sodium dichromate with sulfuric acid and water, or you might see chromium trioxide, aqueous acid, and acetone. But either one of these sets of conditions will form chromic acid in situ. And so what chromic acid does is it can oxidize an alcohol into a carbonyl containing compound. So if you have a primary alcohol and you react it with Jones reagent conditions, um, these are really powerful oxidizing conditions. So what it's going to do is it's going to oxidize a primary alcohol all the way to a carboxylic acid. So primary alcohols under these conditions get oxidized to carboxylic acids. If you have a secondary alcohol, and you treat it to these Jones reaction conditions, so some source, one of these two mixtures that gives you chromic acid, uh, you will be oxidizing that secondary alcohol to a ketone. So secondary alcohols are oxidized to ketones under these conditions. And secondary alcohols can only be oxidized to ketones. So no matter which of the oxidizing conditions that you see, if you have a secondary alcohol, you'll be oxidizing it to a ketone. Where we're going to see selectivity is with the primary alcohol. So you always want to pay attention to what's happening to your primary alcohol. Um, if you want to oxidize it all the way to a carboxylic acid, you're going to need these powerful uh, chromic acid conditions. And tertiary alcohols already have three bonds to carbon. If we were to try and put a double bond here, we would be exceeding the octet. So if you have a tertiary alcohol in a structure and you treat it with chromic acid, you will not get a reaction. So no reaction. And that's because we cannot oxidize tertiary alcohols with any of the reactions that we are gonna learn in this section.